Hi uh, guys, what I want to talk about today is with regards to demos and for bands who are thinking about recording some basic stuff at home and how you can get the most out of it. Where this video came from was a band called Fire Road who I've done two albums with and Rich was talking to me how best to do demos at home. He's currently got Cubase, I think his son was doing music tech in school. I explained to him that for what he needed that the best option for recording might have actually been to use GarageBand. All I wanted to do today was just jump in and have a look at that. And I just want to show you what I showed Rich with regards to setting up a basic template that he can use for writing songs and changing the tempos. So the session I've got up on here already is I've um, set up, I'm just going to delete track three. That was Backspace. Um, I've just got a really, really basic setup for the session and for Rich, as we've basically set up like a clean channel, um, a crunchy channel and a lead kind of overdrive channel. And these are all from presets on on GarageBand, which you can actually see in the library browser here. We can kind of, if I wanted to change the settings. So we're on surf and stereo at the moment. If I had Dynatram, double click on that, see it, it changes again. So I'm just gonna put that back. If I press E on the keyboard, it gives you an explorer view. B is controls, so B will bring up our controls for GarageBand. Um, I in Logic will actually bring up Inspector, so it looks a bit more like a mix of you, which you don't have in GarageBand, but it's not really the end of the world. Uh, in the bottom section here, we've kind of got everything that we need anyway. So as we can see, we've got a noise gate, which is the first thing on, and this is lit this is just a template, which is double bit phaser in Crunch Guitar. And I'll just play what we've got with all the plugins disabled which is down here and I'm just going to solo it as well uh, let's go one And again, sound quality, it's all right. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing special, but you've got, it's just, again, this is just for ideas and it was just to get Rich up and running. So when we were recording, we've got in input 25, which is on my SSL sound card. And we was just literally plugging into the Octopre. And if I just move this up a track, so we went to Royal Rock. <laughs> in stereo. The other thing is on Logic and GarageBand, if you move, if you press up and down on the keyboards, you can actually cycle through the tracks. S will solo the tracks. M mutes it. That's also a pretty good little shortcut. And so let's have a listen to Surf in Stereo. <laughs> let's go back to Royal Rock. That's one I probably like the most. Probably suit the track the most. Cool. So that is a really, really simple setup. With you press Y on the browser, and that brings up your library, and that just gives you a little section of all the different bits and pieces. And these are just a few that we loaded up for Rich, which I've already mentioned. I'm just going to show you how to set up a drummer track, and show you why I think they're really, really useful, and it's better than trying to use MIDI and programming stuff in. So in GarageBand, we got the little plus and it's new tracks, so we click on the plus in the arrange window and we're going to use the yellow option for drummer. So that's how we, we basically do it, we kind of click the plus and Logan comes up and it comes up with a basic kind of beat, so if I press E when you click on the track and you do E it'll give you a bit more um, information so that actually brings up how we can play the track. I'm going to bring a loop on now and as you can see that we've got an eight bar loop for for Logan.
sounding pretty good and this is what we actually did we set up a drum track for rich and then got him to play along just to kind of see how it would work and if we wanted to change the settings i'm just going to press e again and bring up the track so we've got this section down the bottom we've got logan um retro rock i imagine he's probably looking at um kind of like dave Grohl, kind of foo fighters nirvana you're just kind of you know straightforward rock and roll you can kind of change the the drummer as well so we got max this is a different person <laughs> And as we see, as we as we choose different drummers, you'll notice that the presets down the bottom kind of change. Ian, which is Britpop, which is no real guesses for like you know indie. Oh, change drummer. So I'm going to go back to Logan because this is the one that we, I think for Fire Road it was the best one for this song. We've looked at different drummers. The next thing to look at is this little XY pad here. And what this will do is change the beat. What this will do is if you drag this to the left, it makes the drums a bit simpler and you'll actually see that the waveform update. <laughs> And if we move it to the right, and then if say we just go back to the middle, um, just go retro rock again, change drummer, and then we. And then if we move the XY pad up and down, you can see that it gets louder or softer. As we get softer, we kind of move from like rim shots, snare hits to rim clip, like the, the side stick. Uh, so that's that's one thing. We wanted like a tom section, you could change, you've got these sections here. So you have hi-hat and we can go cymbals for like say choruses or if there's like a breakdown or an intro start or something, sometimes you might have toms. And that's an easy way of changing it. Change the symbols. So then you got ride as well, which could work, and that, that generally is it. I mean, we can look at different ones. We've, if we change the, the beat presets, we got a free. So I'm going to take C off, which is this cycle, and I think that kind of works for what we have for this song. If we noticed we had, um, I'm just going to move this back to where it was originally. Okay, so we had, we had the drums. Drums come in. And we've got this change then, I think. So we've got this at bar 23, we've got like a change. So this is, we've got what I've done is on the top right corner of GarageBand, you can actually loop the section that you want. 
And so you see that the first bit here on the left is this like light yellow and it goes darker. And that just means that we're actually copying this bar and we just looped it up to where we need it. And then I, if I move to the right, there's a little yellow circle that comes up. I press that and that gives me a new beat. So then what I could do is I could go to the symbols for, the, for this, like say this is a chorus. And I'm gonna move that to 23 is where I want it from. And that, that is literally it. So you can, and so I've now got two drummer sections. And as if you notice, like, as I click on them, I've got, um, it changes from aim gold hi-hat. And then when I go here, I'll go to cymbals. Um, I could change these to toms. I think I prefer, I think I prefer the um, symbols on the ride. So that's one way of doing it. And then if I wanted to then say I want to go back to the verse, um, say there at bar 39, just cycle through and I could just press command V and that should give me the hi-hat again. So then we literally you can just copy and paste the bits that you need. And that's the reason why I love GarageBand is because for musicians and playing demos, you don't want to be spending loads of time working on um, Sam's and tweaking bits and pieces. You're better off just having different setups as we've got for like a like that we've got here where they're all set up for the guitar input, and then everything's ready to go. So it, it should mean that like you can spend less time worrying about sounds. Oh, I've got I've got Royal Rock, which is quite a good sound. If I want to go to clean, I'll just go and record on Amazing Tweed, and I'll go back to Royal Rock for the other bits and pieces. And with drummer as well, if you're not used to programming drums, I think. The, the drama tracks in Logic and GarageBand are brilliant because it just keeps things simple and you don't have to worry about going, all right, I need to program beats or I like find like MIDI tracks that I can copy and bits, um, I can copy from. There are really good instruments, um, drum instruments, if you do want to go into it, like Get Good Drums, um, Superior Drummer, Stephen Slate Drums. They'll set you back a couple of hundreds. It depends on if the sale's on. But I, I would recommend them. But if you're just starting out, GarageBand Logic... You can't really fault it because everything's there. It's not really costing you anything. And you're better off just doing that, getting sounds and working ideas to show other people. And that's what I recommended to Rich is just use what you've got, get to know that, and then you can always expand on it later. But for the time being, you've got everything you need already. Um, if anyone wants any kind of tutorial videos or anything else that you want want to know about, like basics and recording for demos, give me a shout. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will talk. I'll see you all guys hopefully very, very soon. Cheers.